the causes of jello effect in your drone okay now i'm going to tell you guys a few things teach you a few things while i'm at it first of all brushed motors in drones okay they do not run 100 percent concentric they don't even run 98 percent concentric they're more like about maybe 90 95 percent concentric the way they turn okay a brushless motor even the best brushless motor on the market ball bearing etc etc you might get about 97 percent efficiency out of that thing for running concentric okay so it's not a hundred percent we can't make anything on this planet that's a hundred percent perfect it just doesn't happen so the problem though with brushed motors generally brushed motors have bushings not bearings which is another reason why they run so far out of whack in comparison to a brushless motor and they tend to be a little bit noisier also brushed motors chew up a hell of a pile of more amperage out of your battery therefore a lot shorter run times than you would in the same size of quad same weight of quad but running brushless okay so the other thing that happens here with with causing the uh, the the digello effect okay is not just the motor vibration because even brushless motors vibrate but very minuscule in comparison to a brushed motor but brushed motors of course are going to run a lot more vibration out of them because of the following factors we just mentioned all right the other thing is is the larger the props the more things go out of whack now you can balance your prop to your blue in the face i don't care I could balance my props if I really wanted to, but I just choose not to because they're not an expensive enough quad where I must balance my props. And it's not really gonna help that much anyhow, okay? Because the bigger the props, the more flexible they become. Now, the less wind you have, the better for any drone. Not just for reduced jello effect, okay? Or negligible, almost non-existent jello effect, but also because the blades aren't going to flex so easily okay under power the more wind you have the more they're going to get flexed at so let's say they're running on almost what appears to be a true plane okay now you start whopping a whack load of wind at it and gusts and lighten it up and gusts again and you're flying this thing around forwards and backwards left and right you're doing some spinning with your yaw etc these things are getting flopped around as they're running but when the wind hits, they're getting flopped around a lot more. So it's like you're running out of balance and your whole quad's just doing this, right? And it's doing this and it's just going nuts. So your camera can't keep up enough, okay, to counteract the effects of being so violently vibrated and shoved around by the wind. And this is exactly what causes your jello effect. Even the best of systems out there, the best drones, the best camera equipment, okay, they cannot get away from jello. Jello will always happen. It's just that it becomes lesser and lesser with the better quality, the better compensation systems, and the lesser amount of wind involved. Now, on a day like today, I decided to do some flying because it was sunny out, and it was mentioned to me in my last video called, you know, um, flanker, blah, 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 no more jello. Now, what I found with that quad was, is because its camera is controlled by a servo, which you control from your radio on the ground, okay? It has a twitchy area in many different places. So what you gotta do is line up your shot to where you wanna see the frame on your FPV screen, and then just fine tune that sucker till you don't hear any more chatter coming out of the servo. And that basically locks the servo in that position. Now, it's only gonna do so well, okay? But in a virtually no wind day or a no wind day, it's going to be a beautiful picture, even in the sunlight. It'll be beautiful. Now, of course, every time you turn towards the sun or your sensor of your camera picks up excessive amounts of sunlight, it's going to do some funky stuff to your screen. And that's completely normal, acceptable, and understandable. That's just what happens because your camera is starting to be blinded. Okay? It's like when you fly directly into the sun, you ever notice the sun is black? Your camera can't pick it out. It can't show it as a shiny, you know, yellow sun or white sun, whatever color you want to call it, okay? So it shows it as black. And the more you rotate away from the sun directly, the more your camera's no longer being blinded, okay? So this will make your screen actually much more viewable. Now, it's not jello that's happening. It's the screen is doing funky stuff and it's being recorded on your your memory card with that funky stuff because your your camera sensor is being blinded so when you go away you're okay 
right? You have virtually no more jello, right? Now that's in a no win situation. Now with a windy situation, your quad is being going like this and like this and like that and it's being pushed and shoved and gusts come and hit it and the blades are vibrating more because they're spinning way out of whack and they're out of balance right okay so even if you balance your blades it makes no difference the longer the blades the more the flex the more they're going to go flappy flappy okay and but of course you need a certain size of blade to get this sucker off the ground as it is because it's a heavy bird right so nine and a half inch blades are pretty big and have flex to them and when the wind hits you get jello now that's what you're about to see in this video footage i have for you guys it's a nice sunny day outside but it's also windy okay now my last flight was early morning virtually no wind at all and no sunlight and um yeah i don't see the difference here for jello because even when i'm facing well away from the sun itself okay i'm still getting jello going on because my servo is even though it's locked there's still a finite amount of play there that's still always going to be there but now it's being affected and shoved around by the wind okay never mind the quad vibrating like a mother because of the big blades the heavy weight of the quad trying to keep it in the air it's being pushed and shoved around guess what you're going to get jello effect anyways guys that's pretty much what i wanted to cover on that if you have any other questions feel free to ask i'll do the very best i can to answer them and enjoy the flight footage thanks